there guys, it's Finest Fellas, how you guys doing today? Right, just a quick video for you, I have said I was going to do this, and I'm going to do it right now for you. Some people have been wondering, Finest, how are you getting that 5th Legion banner done? So, what I'm doing for you just now, is I'm going to show you how to make the 5th Legion banner as it is right now. So, what you do when you're on the main screen, is you hit your bumper and you go over to social. Like there. And you go down to profile. Now, from your profile screen, you can see your match histories, you can uh, al align yourself with a certain faction, you can get champion status, and then obviously you have your emblem editor. So, you're gonna go into there. Now, I'm obviously allied with the Knights faction, so I've got a nice triangular shield. So what I'm gonna do just now is I'm gonna start up a new shield and show you how to do it. So first, what you wanna do is go background. Okay, and it just, just use a solid color, guys. It may be nice to have some designs on it, but solid background, that'll do you. Color number one, you want to have it as dark as possible. And obviously there's some wear and tear on the shield there, but don't worry about it, that's just an effect. Choose black, okay, then come out of that. Then what you want to do is uh, hit uh, your bumper again to go over to S1. Now you want to do is choose a symbol. Now everyone should have access to the symbol. If not, you need to go to the Ubisoft store itself and then get it with your Ubisoft credit. Everyone should have Ubisoft credit so it doesn't actually cost you anything real. This is a sword and skull emblem. What you want to do is select this one, okay, and then press circle to come back out. And as you can see it's applied the applied the skull, but it's it's looking pretty crappy right now. So first we'll change the color to as white as you can possibly get it. So I choose this white here. Transform. Now this one's a little bit tricky. All you want to do really is push forward on the right stick and make it as big as humanly possible. I know that's what she said. Wee. All right. Then what you want to try and do is there is a small line at the bottom of the sword there. You want to try and line that up as perfectly as possible so it's kind of mid. And this is this is pretty mid actually. And then obviously try and have it as center as possible. It's pretty simple. So once you've done that, you press circle to come out. And then, obviously, you can choose whichever outline you want, but I use this one, okay? You can have any of these outlines, really. I mean, this one looks pretty good, but I like this one. So that's the one I've chosen. Then you press circle again, save by pressing X, obviously. And you want to save your emblem, you press X to confirm. And once you've done that, as you can see, pretty much identical. Although on uh, the one I've got on the right-hand side here, obviously, I have my sword a bit further up, so... It doesn't really matter, it gets the message across, but if you wanted to, to make it perfect, obviously, you can come back in, go over to S1, transform, use your left stick to move it up slightly, and there you go. I think that's about right. There you go. Almost identical. It's obviously, it takes a little bit of tampering, and you move it around a little bit, a little bit fiddling to get it right, but that's the 5th Legion banner as it stands right now, guys, so... Every one of you who watch my channel, every one of you who are part of the 5th Legion family, go ahead and represent the community with this banner. Lead us to victory. Deus Vault. And until next time, guys, I'm Fanis Fellas signing up for now. I will see you on the next one.